Hey guys, it's Ryan Share here with a quick Dex3 pro tip. We've had some inquiries from customers that are using Dex3 primarily for karaoke purposes that are wondering how they can take songs from singer history and move them to a permanent user list. Maybe that singer's a, a regular and you want to just be able to quickly access his history in a list under his own name. So what you're first going to do is you're going to create an empty user list by the singer's name. So we'll right click anywhere on the left side of the browser and select new playlist. Since I'm going to be taking my own songs from history and moving into a uh, user list, I'm going to use my own name and create the empty list. So as you can see under user list, I have this empty list on as uh, under my name. So next you're going to go into history and I'm going to type in the S colon to do my singer search. And if you may or may not know that already, but in order to locate songs in singer history, you're going to click on history, type in S colon, and then immediately after the colon without any spaces, the singer's name. So there we go. S colon Ryan. And these are all the songs that I previously sung. So what we're going to do now, and in order for this to work uh, appropriately, where it's going to move my name as well as any key changes I applied when I sent those songs to rotation to begin with. It's going to move all that data into the user list to be stored for good. The way you're going to do it is you need to highlight everything at once. You do not move one song at a time. There are various underlying reasons for this, but what you're going to do is want to select multiple tracks or all the tracks at once and move them all to the user list. So I'm going to click on the first track in the list go to the bottom of the list, hold down shift on my keyboard and click the last song. That's going to highlight everything in between. And then all I have to do to move it to my user list over here is drag and drop and let go. So what we've got now, when I access my history list is you'll see my name and you'll see the songs and all you got to do to reuse those songs now, in, in rotation and to send them to rotation and make sure you have the side list toggled to the singer rotation mode by clicking the little microphone or yeah microphone icon above the side list and you can just drag and drop songs over there and they're gonna go right in let's show you another example so I can just drag and drop and they're already gonna apply under my name because my name's already in rotation so I don't really have to worry about much but as you can see, see if I drag and drop on top of my name, it will prompt you and you can uh, set a new key change if you didn't prior. But if I just drag and drop underneath my name even, it's just going to go right into my queue. And that's it. Now, if you can see here that Otis Redding track sitting on the dock of the bay, it has a key uh, change applied of one and a half semitones, 1.5 semitones here. So one and a half steps. Um, and that's it. So they're going to go right into rotation. They're going to maintain your name. They're going to maintain any key changes if you previously applied them in rotation or when you sent songs to rotation. And that's it. So every time I restart Dex3, if I was to access my little singer history list there under user lists, I'm going to see all my songs. And if you have duplicates, super simple to remove them. You just click on a song, hit the delete key on your keyboard on uh, Mac, it's function delete. You hold down function and click delete. On Windows, you just click the song, hit delete. So you can shorten the list and only keep the songs you really want to store within that history. So that's all there is to it. Quick tip on how you can move songs from singer history to a permanent user list for direct access in a future event. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.